All right guys, we are back for a site visit. The concrete slab has been poured, but what I want to show you is the step, the recess steps in the wet areas and why we use that for. Don't go anywhere. All right guys, back today. And I want to show you the recess steps. So as you can see here, this is one of the wet areas. Oh, the shadow there of the sun. Let me try and get that out of the way. One of the recessed areas for the bathroom. So I want to flip the camera. I want to show you how that works. And I'll come back and explain to you why we've recessed the wet areas like that. All right, guys. So, all right, the sun reflection is killing us today. So anyways, so you can see here, because we've got all the pipes. So we are in one of the bathrooms. We have recessed the concrete down about 35 mil and what this is going to allow us to do is when we sand and cement the wet areas to allow for the fall it's going to bring us up to the same level as the rest of the concrete so before i flip it i'll just show you i've got a couple more over here so you can see uh this is uh, another area separate toilet shower bathroom all in this area here it's got the recessed area as well so the reasons why we do the recess is like i was saying before is so that when they do the sand and cement for the wet areas they're able to bring it up to the same level as the remainder of the floor so what this is going to do it's going to allow for no step to be there so if you ever have one of your wet areas or bathrooms where you go from your main floor area to your wet area and there is a step and this is the reason how to avoid it. It's one of the reasons. There are a couple of other different ways to do it. The other way is you will have to sand and cement your whole uh, main floor area to make it the right with this. But if you want to stick your tiles straight down to the concrete, then you're going to have to recess your wet areas to make it line up like that. So guys, if you know anyone who wants to avoid the step in their wet areas, then tag them in the comments below. And if you have anything you want me to cover on an upcoming site visit, let me know and I'll do my best to cover it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.